problem three. The four numbers A, B, C, and D each represent a different non-zero digit. All right, so A, B, C, and D, they each represent a different digit. That's not zero. So they're all different. They can't be the same uh, digit. If A, B, C, D is a multiple of 13, B, C, D, A is a multiple of 11, C, D, A, B is a multiple of 9, and D, A, C, C is a multiple of 7. What is the value of A, B, C, D? All right, so the first thing we have to do is convert these into equations. And it's pretty straightforward since it's sort of already worded in a way that we can easily identify the equivalent values. And here is um, a four equations that deal with remainder. So we have A, B, C, D. A, B, C, D divided by 13 has a remainder of zero. Okay. And B, C, D, A. When B, C, D, A is divided by, what does it say here? It says it's a multiple of 11. When it's, divis it's divisible by 11, so it has a remainder of zero after dividing by 11. C, D, A, B. C, D, A, B divided by 9 has a remainder of zero. And our final one is that D, A, B, C divided by 7 has a remainder of 0. So this is basically for very straightforward equivalencies. Uh, really not equivalencies, just relationships that we can find. And that is given in the problem. Okay, so what is our next step? Well, what is the value of A, B, C, D? Well, first, a, B, we need to know that A, B, C, D times B, C, D, A times C, D, A, B. Well, all of those has to be a multiple of 1,287. Now, why? Well, these are all multiples of 9, 11, and 13. So their product must be a multiple of the product of 9, 11, and 13 which is equal to 1,287, okay. So this is, so they're, the first two numbers product has to be a multiple of 1,287. So basically we could just try to find what are the different possibilities of A, B, C, D until we get to one that also is a multiple of seven, right? Because in the end, has to be that. So if A, B, C, D, now we're just going to list down the different um, uh, multiples of 1,287. So if A, B, C, D, so A, B, C, D, I'm going to make a chart here because I don't want to repeat a lot of things I'm writing, and D, A, B, C. Okay. So these two values, what are their different possibilities? Remember, D, A, B, C has to be a multiple of 7, while A, B, C has to be a multiple of 1, 2, 8, 7. So this is equal to the first multiple of 1,287. This is equal to 7,128. So that does not work, right? Because this is not a multiple of 7. If this is equal to the second multiple, then this would be this would be 4,257. That does not work either, for it is not a multiple of seven. And now what about 3,861? Well, this would be in turn 1,386. And if you try this out, it is indeed divisible by seven. Um, so our final answer would be 3,861. And this is really just um, the place where we applied classification in this problem was especially using this chart because it was where we could really analyze every single possibility. So first, what it's sort of like is, so like minimizing the range that the number could be. And then out of say that group of three, four, five, or a, a very specific pattern for the number, you could test them out, right? 
So if you have a million different possibilities, it's really hard to test them all out. You can't start from 1,000 for A, B, C, D. Well, that wouldn't even work, actually, because it has zero in it. But basically what I'm saying is first minimize the range it could be and then test each one, each one of these out. So thank you for watching Simple Positive Kids and see you in the final problem, problem.